welcome back to my channel, Slim Inspirations for you. Today I am going to show you how to make the most amazing biscuit. Um, if you're on Slimming World, you'll know that biscuits carry sins, but these biscuits, I promise you, are 100% sin free. They are your healthy extra B, but you will find that it's absolutely worth using your healthy extra B on it. And because you get quite a lot for your, um, your sort of healthy extra B, you can stagger it out during the day, so you haven't got to have it just in one meal. And these biscuits are Bakewell sort of um, themed biscuits. Um, the reason I say they're Bakewell is because to me, when I um, made them for the first time, it was just a throw together recipe. It just reminded me 100% of Bakewell tarts. So I'm really, really, really excited to show you these today. And what's even better is they are so quick and so easy to make. So what do we need? We literally need five ingredients and a dog that's not going to be scratching at a glass to actually make this. So just bear with me. Okay, so that's one dog moved away from the glass. Okay, so five ingredients as I promised you. You need your um, rolled oats. Okay, and there's 40 grams in here if you know what your healthy extra B portion is. And she's doing it again. So we might just need to lose the dog. Oh! They say you never work with children or animals, and my animals are a nightmare. Right, shall we start again? So we need, for these amazing, amazing biscuits, 40 grams of oats. And you don't need to grind them down, they are absolutely perfect as you get them because it gives them a fantastic texture. Then all you're going to need is a teaspoon of cork, and I love cork. It's one of my favorite go-to foods, I have it all the time. So just a teaspoon of cork that goes into there. So tempted to just get the spoon in there and start eating this cork, but I won't. I shall resist. Okay. You then need um, a really good almond um, extract, or you can get almond essence, and that's absolutely fine. But I like to use the extract just because it's got a more intense flavour to it, and because it's a more intense flavour, you literally only need a teaspoon of it. So if that's going to go in there. Okay. I love the smell of this as well. Okay, and one egg. This is going to go in. Perfect. Get rid of that. And then you need a teaspoon of some sort of syrup or um, sugar-free cured cordial. And um, I use this. If you can see that, let me just get to there. You go. Okay, and this is um, sort of raspberry and blueberries. It's um, from Sainsbury's. It's not the cheapest cordial you'll get, but you don't need very much at all because it's very concentrated. So you could have it as a cordial, or as I'm going to use it today, I'm going to use it as uh, my flavouring as well. And um, because it's got the sweetness in it, you don't need any sugars in it at all. So which is, this is where you won't get any sins in this recipe because your sweetness is coming from this. Okay, and you just need about a teaspoon of this as well. Okay. Probably isn't even quite a teaspoon. And then all you're going to do is mix it. Okay. Oh, again, smell of vision would be amazing because the almond essence is really coming through. And then you get the sweetness of that syrup as well, which is, it just, honestly, it just tastes and screams bake hard tart to me. Okay, so. I think that's all mixed in. Okay. There we go. Let's get rid of the fork. Okay. And now all you need to do is put this onto a baking tray. Now I use, if I show you, okay, just a standard baking tray, but I use this parchment. You can see this. Um, get it from Amazon, really, really cheap. Nothing sticks to it, it's just brilliant. Um, it comes in quite a big size. Well, not big, but you know, it's sort of one size fits all sort of thing. Um, and then I just fold it over to the size I, size I want, which just fits perfect into most of my trays. Um, very quick and easy to wash as well, which is even better. So I just put that into there, and then all you do is get a little teaspoon and then just put a teaspoon of mixture. Keep it a few 
centimeters apart because it will um, expand in the oven. Okay. Now, as I said to you at the very beginning, you know, you're using your healthy extra B, but you get quite a lot for your healthy extra B here. So you can spread it out during the day. You don't need to eat it all in one sitting. So it's a great little go-to snack, really. Um, especially for work, which is what I've been doing. I've been taking it to work with me and having it during the day. And then if your work colleagues are sitting there pinching the biscuits from the biscuit tin, you don't feel like you're not having anything because you can have these. Now, as you can see, I hopefully you can, I'm actually getting 10 little biscuits out of this. So you do feel like you're getting a lot for a small amount. Just put a little bit extra there, I might want to write. Okay, so I've got now 10 little spoonfuls. I'm gonna bake that in a hot oven. So probably about 200 for 15 to 20 minutes. I'm gonna watch it because you can catch, it can go too far. Literally a couple of minutes before the end, just flip them over. Um, just so the bottoms get a bit more crunchy as well. Because what will happen with this, because there's like the almond essence in it, gives it a really um, crispy texture and it's almost like you're eating ground almonds. It is absolutely amazing. So give me 15 to 20 minutes and we'll have a look what they look like. Hi, right, so they've been in the oven and um, you can just see here, if I can show you one. They are lovely and golden brown. Now, the best thing to do with these biscuits now would be to leave them in the oven to cool with the natural heat of the oven. What that does is it just sends it to another level, it just makes it a little bit more crispy without burning. Unfortunately, I have my roast beef dinner in the oven at the moment, so I can't do that with these. However, what I will do is, after I've took the beef out later, is I'm gonna pop this back in the oven um, just to cool down in there and believe you me it does make a massive difference if you can't do that or you don't have the time it doesn't matter these will still be absolutely amazing the biggest challenge for me now is to not to eat these until tomorrow because these are for me to take to work with um, to nibble on during the day every time I open that oven um, either to you know pop my beef in or my roast potatoes or just to check on um, my biscuits the smell was out of this world. I can't keep telling you enough. It just is like a bakewell tart. It's all you can smell. And I know that's the almond and whatever, but seriously, these are the yummiest, loveliest, easiest biscuits you're ever going to make, and they're going to be healthy. So even if you're not on Slim World, there's no fat in these and there's no sugar. Everything comes from all the other things. And I do apologise that my phone is going off. It's my friends who are telling me they've won £30 on our syndicate this weekend. So, woohoo, I'm not going to retire just yet. Um, but we're a little bit excited because we don't win very often. Um, so I do apologise. I should have put it on silent. So have a great week. If you like my recipes, please subscribe to my channel. I do love doing this, but it'd be really good to know that other people love what I do. Um, I do try and keep them healthy, um, but I do have a husband who has a very sweet tooth and it's on some world, so I do try and mix it up a bit. Um, I love cooking, I love experimenting with recipes, so you know, if you enjoy it too, I love your feedback. If you look at my channel as well, it's not just about recipes. Um, I do love walking and photography, so I try and combine that um, within my YouTube channel. Um, I also um, like doing product reviews, a little bit of a gadget freak, so if I do buy something, I will put an honest review on there for you. Um, as I said, you know, I do love what I do, but I really would love your feedback, and if you do like what I do, then please support me, it'd be really appreciated. So have a good week. Please let me know if you try these biscuits, if you think they're as amazing as I do. Um, it's really good to get feedback. And don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.